If you don't already have old money, you can't get it. A freshly acquired fortune is, by definition, new money. Buy all the seventh homes, helicopters, and significant others you like, but those who bemoan estate taxes over braised ostrich or dergras will still think you're the weirdo. Money can't buy pedigree, although it can buy a pedigreed Mercedes-Benz. The E-Class wagon's lineage stretches back to the 1970s, and the redesigned, W213 generation model continues to represent the discerning option in the Mercedes lineup. In our crossover crazed world, it's contrarian sans irony, like a smoking jacket worn not in vogue but because the wearer has smoked Cubans since the Taft administration. Only a small cloister of Americans each year said to be among Mercedes-Benz's richest and most loyal customers here opt for the E-Class wagon instead of nouveau riche G-wagons or predictable S-classes. That taste lends the station wagon its quiet confidence, its air of amply nourished bank accounts. Mercedes-Benz stylists seem to have forgotten the E400S under the radar mission, though. Their addition of more roof and glass to the stoic E-Class sedan streamlines the profile into a tidy bustle graced by two wide, thin lamps seemingly pulled from Benz's coupes. The quietly, meltingly lovely result is longer and lower than its predecessor and arguably prettier than Volvo's V90 wagon.